I'm about to play you the clip. You know what clip I'm talking about. Not answering the question about packing the Supreme Court. Joe Biden flatly refused to answer it at the last debate. Mike Pence went after her last night, and I mean after her, trying to pin her down. There it is. When you speak about the Supreme Court, though, I think the American people really deserve an answer, Senator Harris. Are you and Joe Biden going to pack the court if Judge Amy Coney Barrett is confirmed? I mean, there have been 29 vacancies on the Supreme Court during presidential election years from George Washington to Barack Obama. Presidents have nominated in all 29 cases. But your party is actually openly advocating adding seats to the Supreme Court, which has had nine seats for 150 years, if you don't get your way. This is a classic case of if you can't win by the rules, you're going to change the rules. Now, you've refused to answer the question. Joe Biden has refused to answer the question. So I think the American people would really like to know if Judge Amy Coney Barrett is confirmed to the Supreme Court of the United States, are you and Joe Biden, if somehow you win this election, going to pack the Supreme Court to get your way. And she wouldn't answer. And then he asked it again. And she did some stupid race card thing. It would not answer the question. And it was so painfully obvious she wouldn't answer the question. And I actually think Democrats are making a huge mistake here. Here's the situation Democrats are in. I understand the situation they're in. If they say, no, I'm not going to pack the Supreme Court, which they really should, that'll be more appealing to moderates, to middle America, who they don't, they don't want some Supreme Court packing thing. That, that, that is probably the smarter electoral play for them to say, no, we won't do that. We're going to keep things normal. However, their base, if they say they're not going to pack the court, their radical leftist base will lose their freaking minds. They've spent four years ramping up their base and convincing them Donald Trump is the end of America itself. They don't now have the power to turn to that base and say, well, we're not going to do anything to stop it. That's how their base would take it. So they're in quite a pickle. I do think this is going to be a big deal going forward, though, because now Trump and Pence have exposed it. Now people can see, oh, oh, this is a weakness. And it makes them look really, really bad. Really, really bad. And speaking of four years of bad behavior, I thought this exchange was interesting. When you talk about accepting the outcome of the election, um, I, I must tell you, uh, Senator, your party has spent the last three and a half years trying to overturn the results of the last election. It's amazing. When Joe Biden was vice president of the United States, the FBI actually spied on President Trump in my campaign. I mean, there were documents released this week that the CIA actually made a referral uh, to the FBI documenting that those allegations were coming from the Hillary Clinton campaign. And, of course, we've all seen the avalanche, the, what, what you put the country through for, for the better part of, of three years until it was found that there was no obstruction, no collusion, case closed, and then, Senator Harris, you and your colleagues in the, in the Congress uh, tried to impeach the President of the United States over a phone call. That's true. You know, that's the reason the media keeps asking this question of Trump and Pence and everybody. Are you going to accept the results? Are you going to accept the results? Because they know. We now have four years of Democrats not accepting the results. We had the Mueller investigation, which turned out to be a total scam. Then we had impeachment over a phone call, uh, nothing. These people, for some reason, simply cannot accept when they lose. And so what are they going to do? Well, you're not going to accept when you lose. Uh, Republicans have not had this problem. This is a Democrat problem. This is like when Democrats ac accuse Republicans of political violence. Um, we have four years now of endless documented cases of leftists attacking Republicans specifically because they're Republicans for political reasons. I mean, the laundry list of them. And Democrats will say, Republicans are violent. Whatever they're accusing you of, that's what they're doing. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more me.